Welcome to Justice for New York. My name is Char Collins. My website is justicefornewyork.com and my email is justicefornewyork at aol.com. Today we're going to talk about something a little different. Let me ask you a question. It's very simple. Do you want your 10 to 16 year old daughter taking a shower with somebody with biological parts the, of the opposite sex? Do you want your son taking showers, a 10 to 16 year old, with somebody with biological parts of the opposite sex? Well, that's what we're going to discuss, because the Democrats do. I will tell you, their intent in the long run is to have no more boys' or girls' rooms, men's or ladies' rooms, or women's rooms. They're all going to be unisex. The locker rooms at schools will be unisex. From the lowest grades through high school. That's their intent. And don't let them tell you otherwise. Senators Kirsten Gillibrand and Chuck Schumer are, and the Democrats, are slowly trying to do away with boys' and girls' rooms and or locker rooms as well as men's or ladies' locker rooms. They want all children and adults to use the same bathrooms, locker rooms, showers. In short, there will be no longer be any boys' or men's, girls' or women's restrooms. They will be unisex. Is that what you want? Would you want your daughter under 18 sharing a bathroom or shower with a person who has the physical body parts of the opposite sex? I don't. Grant, my kids are all older, but I wouldn't want that for my grandchildren. Would you want your son under 18, sharing a bathroom or shower with a person who has the physical body parts of the opposite sex? No. But the Democrats do. Would you want to share a restroom, locker room, or shower with a person with the physical body parts of the opposite sex that you don't know? How about having your wife or your girlfriend? They're at a club or they're at a workout center, a gym. They're in taking a shower and guess what? Some male comes in and takes a shower with them. Is that what you're looking to have happen? That's what the Democrats want. Do you really think that children of any age should be looking at the nude bodies of the opposite sex? The Democrats do. Do you really want a, your 16 year, 10 to 16 year old daughter taking a shower with another 10 to 16 year old that has male parts? And the same for your son taking a shower with somebody with female parts. In a recent federal court ruling, which the Democrats loved, the judge held that there is no right to privacy for children as it is allowed a biological girl to use the boys' rooms and locker rooms as she considered herself a boy. The judge also held that if the parents don't like it, they can change schools. So in other words, he's giving this girl more rights. Now what about boys that want to say that they're now girls? And they decide they're going to use the girls' locker rooms and showers and stuff. This ruling was supported by the Democrats. There is no more right to privacy, except, as the Democrats want, are you having an abortion? Then you have a right to privacy. But otherwise, your kids don't have any right to privacy. According to the article, which is online, it's on my website, this is one of my scoops, I think it's Scoop 52, has um, a link to the article, so you can read it on your own. 
According to the article, attorneys for parents for privacy couldn't be reached immediately Wednesday. But in court papers, they argued that as parents, parents, they have a duty to instill moral standards and values in their children. I'll tell you, that is not something that Democrats, that's something that Democrats don't like and are against. They don't want you to instill moral values in your children. They want a free society. It's like free drugs. In other words, we're going to legalize marijuana. We're going to legalize this. You know, they'll be legalizing others so they can tax it. More revenue to spend. More people having problems with opioids, cocaine, heroin. That's all going to go up. They also contended that the children are concerned about maintaining their modesty in front of a transgender classmate. Classmates of the opposite biological sex. What do you think about the children? They don't want to get undressed in front of somebody else. Certainly not somebody of the opposite sex, but now they're forced to. So this child's rights are superior to the, the, all the other children. These students have the sincere religious belief that they must not undress or use the restroom in the presence of the opposite biological sex, and also that they must not be in the presence of the opposite biological sex while the opposite biological sex is undressing or using the restroom, or taking a shower or whatever. The group said in court documents, Just wait and see. There's, I guess there's been several court, according to the article, there's been a several judges that have also held this. The federal courts will hold the same for adults. So you go to the gym, you use some, a place that's open to the public, the beach, they have their showers and stuff. Be prepared, they're going to be unisex, because you can't keep the other one out anymore. All those laws about... The, Peeping times and stuff, that's done. So expect to have your husband or wife, mother or father, son or daughter share a restroom, locker room, or shower with someone of the opposite bi biological sex, and there is nothing you can do about it, except not use the facilities. This is just the beginning and has gotten the Democrats' agenda in the door. The Democrats will demand that the school must have unisex locker rooms. No more boys and girls rooms. This is too much to put on kids. I have a challenge for the Democrats, especially Cuomo, Schumer, and Gillibrand, who are all in favor of this. If they're in favor of it and think these rulings are great, putting kids in these positions, putting senior citizens in these positions, and even people in between, middle-aged or whatever. You know, the religious people, whatever, that don't want to be seen by somebody else. Why don't each of them share a locker room and shower with someone of the opposite biological sex that they don't know? Why don't they have their spouses and children do the same? If they're all for it, they shouldn't have any problems with this. They are forcing it on us, our children, grandchildren, and parents. This will show how committed they really are and how immoral they are. Just think of the publicity they would get. The federal judge who made this ruling should be required to do the same as well as his family members. If they're going to force it on these family members, his kids should also participate. I'll guarantee you they won't do it. Democrats have no morals. It's an open, free society. To force children, yet alone adults, into such situations shows a complete lack of any morals on their part and how sick these people really are. This is, a, is this a form of child abuse? Having kids get undressed in front of people, ch other children that are the opposite sex of them, are built the opposite sex of them? 
I think it is. What happens when someone, what happens when one of these people, I don't care which side of it, this gets raped? Eventually it will happen. Hopefully it doesn't. But what happens if it does? Whose fault is it? it the kid shouldn't be put in this position. If you are, if you are for the children and for our adults being forced into these situations, I'm sure you're going to vote Democrat because you're for, you're for it. If you want to protect children and or adults from these situations, you need to vote Republican. We have to make America great again. We have to make New York State great again. We need to protect our children, our adults, our parents. They all need to be protected from this lunacy. You know, if they want to make family rooms or a separate room in the schools and stuff, that's fine. But don't force it on other children. Don't force it on adults. You can have your beliefs, that's fine. I can have my beliefs. But don't force your beliefs like the Democrats do by getting in people's faces, yelling at them, you know, the Democrats is a terrorist organization. They use people to get out there, to get their point across by yelling, screaming, intimidating people so that everybody's scared to stand up and call it what it is. Because they don't want to be gone after. And that's what the Democrats are hoping. They use fear, warmongering, whatever you want to call it. But our children's lives are at stake in this. Everybody's lives are at stake. We need to stand up. At least President Trump ended a lot of this. But it's coming up again. They're doing it through the court system. With these liberal Democrat judges. As I said, if they're all for this, Schumer, Cuomo, Gillibrand, why don't they take up my challenge? And if not, why not? Have them explain why they think this is great. Why children should see other children's... And why children should be forced to undress in front of people of the opposite sex. Whether they're 10, 12, 14, 16, 8 years old, doesn't make any difference. Children need to be protected. And it's got to start now. And it can start at the ballot box. You need to vote Republican to bring some sanity back, bring morals back. Thank you.